Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Gus and Carla with KGC Realty Group. Today we are doing a monthly market report of the housing market here in the North Dallas area. So we're going to be talking about houses that sold, average sold, and uh, good information, good market information here for the North Dallas communities. If you are new to our channel, just want to say welcome. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified of all the videos that we post each and every week. Okay, hey guys, so we're just gonna jump right in. So if you guys are thinking about moving to the area, make sure to stay tuned because you're gonna wanna know what the houses are averaging, what they're selling for in different areas. And we're gonna cover about five or six different cities in the North Dallas area. And we're gonna start off with the city of Aubrey, which is where we live. The houses that sold in March in Aubrey were a total of 95, and the average priced home was 481,796. That's the average house price. And the most expensive home that sold in Aubrey was a million, I'm sorry, $1.1 million. And the average is on the market was 22. Average listed versus sold is 104.7 percent and basically what that means is that what the houses are getting listed at versus what they're selling for is over by 104.7 percent and the average square foot price is 206 dollars with 62 cents so that is how the market here is in aubrey so Depending on your budget, what it allows for, you know, keep in mind there are very expensive homes here in Aubrey, just like we saw, a million, you know, they can go up. Mm -hmm. But there's also your medium, you know, average home costs about 400, 500,000. So if you're looking to move into the area and your budget is around that, keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay, guys, so for the city of Salina, here are the numbers. Uh, so the total of homes sold, 80, okay. So the average sold home price was 692,883. The most expensive home sold was 1.9 million. The average days on the market is 16 days. Mm. The average listed versus what sold 108.1%. And the average per square feet, 244 dollars per square feet wow so you can tell that the houses are definitely flying in salina um they're staying on the market a lot less time almost a week less yeah. than in aubrey so also for all of you that are watching in the area and you live in salina and you're thinking about possibly selling do know that your house can sell in as little as 16 days or less hey guys so next we have frisco frisco is very popular it's where everybody's going to. You've got the PGA coming. Yeah. I mean, just tons of stuff going on in Frisco. It's the place to be. So the numbers in Frisco are the houses that sold just in March were 243. Wow. That is very significant when compared to the surrounding cities. Yeah. Now the average sold home price is 757,242. So, you know, it's, actually a little bit more than Salina and quite more than Aubrey. Yeah. And the most expensive home that sold in March was for $2 million. The average days on the market is about 20 days. Now the reason why that's a little bit longer than say Salina or whatnot is because you have a higher price point. Yeah. So with higher price points come a little bit longer of listed days. And then you've got the average of listed versus sold is 109.9%. So almost 110% more than yeah. the listed price. And then you've got the average square foot price is 249 with 13 cents. That is quite the difference, especially when comparing it to yeah. Aubrey. So here are the numbers for the city of Little Elm. So the number of homes sold in March was 123. The average sold price was 476,274. The most expensive house sold here in Little Elm was 930,000. Average days on the market of a listing, 18 days. Average list versus the sold was 108%. The average per square feet is $215.85. Mm. So quite a bit of a difference there between uh, all the rest of the 
nearby communities, nearby cities. Yeah, and keep in mind, all of these cities that we're talking about literally border each other. Yeah. So you are just blocks away from the next city, but it makes such a big impact when you've got a budget to um, adhere to and you're yeah. looking around for, you know, where you're gonna live when you're relocating to Texas or if you're thinking about selling, which is super hot right now, people are like, well, how much can I get for my house? So these are great numbers for you to have if yeah. you live in the area and you're thinking about selling. This is what the average price is going for. It will all depend, of course, based on your specific prime location and yeah. you know things about the house. But when looking at mine, yeah, these numbers definitely make a difference. Yeah. Hey guys, so okay, the another city that we threw in here, although we're not necessarily bordering it, yeah. is McKinney. Why? Because everybody knows McKinney. Yeah. Everybody coming from different states, different places. McKinney, that's what they know. So it's Dallas McKinney. Here's the thing that I hear all the time. Well, McKinney's so expensive. I can't afford McKinney. It's just too expensive. So unless you have the numbers and you're working with a realtor who really knows the area, who really knows what they're talking about, don't necessarily say that McKinney is super unaffordable and you can't, you know, buy a house there because right. The numbers show otherwise. So the homes sold in McKinney for March were 240, I'm sorry, 253. So it's getting, I mean, it's super hot market in McKinney. The average sold home price was 594,621, which is not horrible. Not horrible. I mean, McKinney does border Frisco. So, I mean, you can see the price difference there on, yeah. on versus, uh, Frisco. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Yeah. And McKinney has great school districts. Um, parts of McKinney yeah. are, you know, different districts, which we won't touch right now. But for the most part, McKinney is still super affordable. And keep in mind, this is the average. So there are homes that are less. There are homes that are more. Yeah. Which, you know, let's look at the most expensive home sold in McKinney in March was $2 million. $2 million. So, yes, there are more expensive, but there's also less expensive homes. So don't yeah. rule out McKinney if you're like sticking to a budget and you're like, I absolutely can't afford McKinney. Talk to an experienced realtor, somebody who knows the area that can get you a great deal on a home. Yeah. If you don't have one, call us. The average days on the market for McKinney are 18 days. So like I said, McKinney is super hot. They're not gonna stay on the market very long. Yeah. The average listed versus sold is 110.5. So they're definitely, some of them still selling at, you know, quite a bit over asking or over listed price. Yeah. And the average square foot is 231 with 81 cents, which is pretty average. Yeah. It's not crazy high or it's not crazy low. Okay guys, so the last city that we have here on our list is Prosper. Mm. Okay, so here <laughs> are the numbers for Prosper. So the number of houses sold uh, are 73. 73 homes sold last month. Uh, the average sold home price, 941,974, which is, it's up there. Cause you know, can, you know, if you start comparing it to some of the surrounding uh, mm. cities. The most expensive household uh, last month was 2 million. 13 days on the market is the average uh, days uh, on the market here for, uh, for the houses. Average list versus sold 108, 0.2% more. Average square feet, uh, $262.38 per square feet. That's yeah. the average here in Prosper, so. And that's quite high, so Prosper is still, I mean, they're not a huge city. You've got Prosper IC, which tons of people are trying to yeah. get into, so. Our advice is if you're trying to get into Prosper ISD, there are other cities that feed into the, the school district for yeah. Prosper, like Salina. So again, talk to an experienced realtor who knows the area because you might not necessarily have to drop top dollar to get into Prosper ISD. Right. But if you are definitely thinking about going to Prosper, know that you are gonna be paying quite a bit to get into a home in Prosper. And as we yeah. saw, houses are not seen on the market. So if you guys are thinking about moving to the area and you don't know what area is your budget, please give us a call. We are yeah. more than happy to guide you through the process to let you know where your budget is gonna get you the most bang for your buck. Yeah. Also, if you are in the area, give us a call if you're thinking about selling. Recently, we've been working with tons of sellers in the area. Yeah. So we're absolutely trying to help them get top dollar. The market is crazy hot right now and not everybody knows when it's gonna end. Yeah. So we're seeing, especially in this subdivision, um, Sandbrock Ranch is one of the top and hottest markets. 
Houses are not staying here very long and um, they are selling for actually above what the average in Aubrey is per yeah. square foot. Yeah. So if you guys are thinking about selling, give us a call if you have any questions at all. And even if you're not thinking about selling, but you want to know the price point for your home, because Zillow is a liar. <laughs> so yeah. if you want to know the price point for your home, give us a call and we're happy to send you a market analysis to let you yeah. know what your home could be worth. And I promise we're not going to try and get you to sell. Right. It's just great information for you to have. Yeah, we want to we want to make sure that we're a good resource for you and have uh, to provide great information for you. Hey, so our information is going to be right above here somewhere. So make sure to shoot us a text, mm -hmm. give us a call if you want to learn more about the market and what your home's value is right now. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.